الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد continue on in our dars in the book umdat al ahkam by imam maqdisi rahimahullah ta'ala and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the ulama all of the scholars of islam that are of those scholars who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and call the people to the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah radiyallahu ta'ala anhum majma'in beginning with the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and we reach the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which refers to using the right and making preference by using one's right hand to do good things and things that are uh that have to do with cleanliness and so forth eating shaking hands so forth as a part of islamic manners and in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it shows us that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam preferred using the right on aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha qalat kana rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yu'jibuhu at-tayammunu fi tan'ulihi wa turujulihi wa tuhurihi wa fi sha'nihi kullihi ruahu bukhari wa muslim in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrated uh, on aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha that she said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he used to prefer using his right in putting on his sandals in combing his hair and in matters of purification meaning starting your wudu with the right side starting uh, your ghusl when you're washing yourself you're taking a shower you begin on the right side when you're washing your right side before your left and in the in all of his affairs and this was narrated in bukhari and muslim one of the benefits that sheikh ali basam rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned and may allah bless him with jannah to firdaus he mentioned yu'jibuhu at-tayammunu meaning that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he uh, this term refers to that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he preferred or he made preference to his right using his right and imam as-sin'ani rahimahullah ta'ala rahmatul alayh and may allah bless him with jannah to firdaus he said kullu fi'l yuhibbuhu allah wa rasuluhu fa huwa yadullu ala mashru'iyatihi li shirkati li 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 shirkatihi li shirkati bayna al-ijabi wa nadab so he mentioned imam sinani rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned that every action that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or his messenger alayhi salatu was salam um that th- this term that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam preferred the right it refers to every action that allah loves and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam and this is evidence that this is legislated and then he mentioned it is it uh is between either between meaning it's a legislated act between uh, being a preferred act of worship or a wajib or obligatory action of worship meaning that those things that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did that or and that we are ordered to do in practice in our religion that we that have to do with uh, an obligation or that is preferred act of obligation then if there is a choice between doing you uh, the left and the right then we should prefer 
uh, uh, using the right side. And for example, like making the wudu, as we mentioned, we begin with our right hand, uh, you know, so in washing your hands, and tuhurihi, meaning, and all of his uh, purification, meaning, so if we, even brushing our teeth, using the miswak, it's preferred to use the right hand. And so the Prophet Sallallahu in combing his hair, and in brushing his beard, or combing his beard, that he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used the right hand. And all the actions of the wudu and the ghusl, and even removing impurities. So, this is in reference and what some of the things we can gain from this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some of the other benefits uh, Imam Nawawi Rahimahullah Ta'ala mentioned Qa'idat al-shara' al-mustamira al-mustamira istihbab bida'atu باليمين في كل ما كان من باب تقريم وتزين وما كان بضدها استحباب فيه تياسر So this is a beautiful thing that Imam Nawawi رحمه الله تعالى he mentioned he said that one of the Sharia principles one of those continual Sharia principles is the that it is recommended to begin with the right. And he said in every action that involves taqreem, meaning those actions which involve uh, uh, goodness or those actions which are preferred actions or righteous actions or what have you or that are sacred actions. Uh, And then he said and everything uh, also that it require that uh, refers to or uh, in reference to beautification, also using the right, and those things which are the opposite of that, then it is recommended to use the left. So, for example, if you're removing something impurities from yourself, of course, when we make a stinja and stuff, we clean ourselves with our left hand. So that's one of the things in opposition. We also enter the restroom with the left foot. And we exit with the right foot. We enter the masjid because this involves tak- uh, takrim, you know, uh, something that is uh, an honorable and righteous and pure action, entering the masjid to worship our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we begin with the right. We enter with the right uh, foot and we make the supplication. Another benefit from this hadith is that Imam uh, Ali Basam rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned that using the left for those things which are disliked or uh, you know for example as we mentioned removing impurities and so forth and this is in accordance with the sharia and accordance with the intellect and those are just some of the benefits from this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty to accept this good and forgive our evil anything i said that was correct was from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam